Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We officially are going to have a Star Wars, at least now we may be having the Star Wars race, something that even the United States started back with Ronald Reagan when he was president, wanted to begin an actual Star Wars campaign. And now Russia has officially announced here on Moscow Times that top general says Russia to create aerospace force in 2015, that is this year. The article, although it's very vague about what they're planning on doing, says Russia will add a new branch to its armed forces later this year with the creation of an aerospace force, the country's top general has said. The aerospace force will be created by merging two types of the current, uh, currently existing armed forces, the Air Force and the Space Defense Force. General Valery uh, Gersmilov, a deputy defense minister, was cited as saying by TASS on Tuesday. Uh, Russia's military is also working on expanding its system for missile attack warning, uh, Jiros Moav was quoted as saying. Uh, of course, Russia is also planning to build its own space station separate from the International Space Station. So again, it's just one more phase, one more step. Russia is beefing up its own military. Vladimir Putin has been said in several other news uh, comments recently that the United States is spending five times greater annually on its own military f military's force. And as he sees the escalation of, uh, as some are calling it, imperialism by the United States, that he also feels the need that Russia must as well counter the same type of spending in order to be able to match its own military force with the United States. In other news, in Israel, a very serious, deadly bus crash today. Now, whether or not there is any terrorist uh, activity involved in this, it is unknown at, at the moment. It appears to be just an accident that took place. It happened in the Negev. It was a, a crash on Highway 31 there. Uh, today, Israel National News posted this at 3.14 p.m., just, oh, gosh, only a couple of hours ago. Uh, it's been updated again. that said that there was a um, truck... Uh, a bus filled with passengers and a private car involved in a Negev crash, leaving eight women dead and 24 uh, wounded. They call it wounded, so that's why I'm concerned about is this considered a terrorist attack. Normally you would say injured, but the, they're reporting them as being wounded. Eight women in their 50s were killed and 24 other were wounded on Tuesday afternoon in a massive traffic accident that involved a truck a bus and a private vehicle adjacent to Lehavim Junction in the Negev and Israel South. The article says the bus that was in the crash was filled with passengers at the time. Numerous of the Mogen David Adom, which is the, uh, the emergency services for Israel, uh, aid crews are on the site and providing treatment in the crash. And the, of course, the road had been completely closed off uh, due to all the fatalities that were in this particular crash. In parallel, the IDF dispatched this unit 669 to the site of the accident to help evacuate the numerous wounded and unit from the IDF Home Front Command is likewise on its way to the location. Again, eight women in their 50s have been confirmed killed in this accident. 24 are wounded, one of them to be in serious condition that has already been rushed to the hospital. The others uh, apparently at this time lightly injured. But uh, we will update you um, as soon as we can find out more about this particular crash that happened in the Negev uh, Desert on Highway 31. I'm Stephen Benun with Israeli News Live. Shalom.